here we have the function f of x is x squared minus 2x minus 1, and I want to do f of qx. Obviously, at the moment, it is 1. So if I wanted to do 2x, that means instead of x, I'd have to put 2x here and 2x here. Now, what is the effect on the graph of the function? Well, we can see the distance from here, from the y-axis to the uh, this particular point here, we have 3 units. Now, if I move q so that it is 2 units, like that, then I can see what's happened is that the distance from here to here has halved. Originally it was 3, now it is 1.5, but the number here is 2. So this is a stretch parallel to the x-axis, but instead of the stretch factor being 2, it's going to be 1 over 2, which is a half. If I change it to 3, then I can see it is now one third of the way from the from the uh, x-axis to that point. So it's one over three, and here it says three. So it's going to be sort of counterintuitive this one. So this is going to be a stretch. Uh, y is equal to q of x is a stretch parallel to the x-axis. Stretch factor one over q compared with the original function. And if we go the other way, for example, here we have a stretch uh, of f of 0 0.5 of x, then what happens is it's a stretch of 2, uh, times 2 from the uh, x-axis. So this is 3, and this distance from here to here will be 6. So, just to conclude, y is equal to q of x is a stretch parallel to the x-axis, stretch factor 1 over q, compared with y is equal to f of x.